What's up everybody and welcome to my channel. Welcome to my vlog series on life after implants. Um, learning to love the skin I'm in. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe if you want to follow my journey. Click the bell and give me a thumbs up if you like this or a thumbs down. And if you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment box below. But this is Poppy, my puppy, and she's so... She is such a great little companion. Mm. All right. I think, sorry, my dog is stuck in the bed. What are you doing? <laughs> She's so funny. She's so funny. Sorry, you guys. You're wrecking my pillow. Stop it. <laughs> sorry. Anytime. If it's not the dog, it's the kids. <laughs> It's the phone or the camera, and I can't seem to stop it. I try to change for you, but you stay the same. I still haven't went and got my blood work done. I have to do that. Um, I just haven't had a chance to, because uh, that will kind of, I don't know, maybe a part of me is kind of scared to uh, see the results. Um, I think, you guys, I'm just gonna have to be totally vulnerable. Um, I'm wearing no makeup today just because I just didn't wanna be distracted. I wanted you guys to see the real me, this is me, and I wanted to be okay with being me. And I think um, it can be hard to be okay with being yourself. Um, it can be hard to be okay um, with letting people in and I think um, I'm learning to do that I think um, I think being vulnerable is hard because I think of rejection uh, letting people in and them rejecting who you truly are and I think you know more than anything uh, I'm just really being faced with you know um, more than removing the implants because they were not making me feel good but I'm just being really faced with why I even got them in the first place really being faced with okay who am I what do I like what do what what am I good at um, the decision to get implants you know always stems from you know uh, self-rejection and I think that's the biggest thing. I think, you know, uh, from the time we're little girls, we, we love who we are when we're little. And maybe we don't. Maybe things happen that were traumatizing that we just rejected ourselves from the moment, you know, we could even think about ourselves. And I don't know your story, but that's my story. You know, I think um, things happened to me when I was young that, you know, really just made me reject who God created me to be. And it had a ripple effect in my life and um, you know um, oh I don't know I'm so emotional today. <sighs> I think I'm just being faced with you know what was my purpose behind every decision I've made can I trust the decisions that I'm making now because are they based on who I am or are they based on who I want people to think that I am? And removing my implants has really done something to me, you guys. It's done something beyond surface, beyond uh, what you see on the outside. It's really impacted my soul. And it's really, you know, made me detach. Like I told my husband, I just, I, the last few nights, and I don't know, you know, maybe some of you guys are watching this and you're going to get your implants removed and, or maybe some of you already have and so you went through some of the similar feelings that I'm feeling or maybe you haven't, but it's just a feeling of the reason I got them was deeper than not feeling well. It was a part of saying, okay, God, this is who you've created me to be. You didn't create me with them, so I'm going to be happy without them. And so I can lead for the little eyes watching me to show them what loving yourself truly is. It's it's beyond outer appearance. It goes 
you know, to the soul of who you've been created. Every For everybody that has ever had implants, whether you want to admit it or not, it is because you are unhappy and you think that it's going to fill something. You think that it's going to portray an image that, you know, you will be happy with and then things will get better. And it's just as silly as someone going, you know, if I'm super rich, it's going to make me happy. I'll be happy once I have all this money. I'll be happy. No, it doesn't because we're trying to fill something that only God can fill. We're trying to fill something that um, can't be filled externally. It has to be searched for internally. Um, I just I feel like I'm wrestling with my soul. That's how it feels. I just feel restless in my soul. It's almost like a part of me, I feel like there's two of me, but I feel like if you've ever seen in a movie when the, a person detaches, like, and it's like, kind of gives you the illusion, like, of this person being separated and taken out. And I, I feel like that is what is happening. Um, it's this separation that is happening. It's this thing that is happening to my heart that it, it's me just letting go of, um, of this image distortion of me letting go of this body dysmorphia, of me just laying it down and saying, okay, God, I know you have something good for me. I know that you have a plan for me. I know that there is something good in me. And it's okay to let that out. And it's okay not everybody's going to like you. And it's okay that you're not going to fit this image that, you know, maybe the world sees as beautiful. And, you know, you see my outward image. I can see my heart and my inward, how I feel, because your image isn't your aesthetics. Your image is your character. It's who you are. It's, um, it's your character. It's, it's that, um, it's the thoughts that you have. It's, it's just this, it's this internal image. It's not this external image. So if your internal image about yourself is negative, um, you just won't feel good externally and you'll try to fill it externally, but it still leaves this void internally. And I'm just, uh, I'm just at a place, um, you guys, where, you know, um, I've stopped exercising so much. Um, I joined CrossFit. I'm back at CrossFit and I've only been doing it three days a week. And I stopped exercising. I stopped going to the gym um, because I can't explain it. I... After I got my implants removed, sorry guys, I'm super emotional today. After I got my implants removed, um, driving up to the gym, I got huge anxiety one day. Just this like anxiety of not wanting to go in there. And and I, at first I thought it was just, you know, um, I wasn't sure what it was. And I was talking to my mom. My mom's like, well, maybe that's a sign. Maybe you're not supposed to be at the gym, Hannah. And I got irritated with her because the gym was my life. You guys, I found my identity in exercise. It was the way I controlled myself. It was the way, or I thought I controlled myself. Um, because it was the way I could control how I felt about myself. If I exercise, I could control my body. And if I could control my body... I would just like this image more. And it's been a part of me for so long. And after I got my implants removed, I just really felt this separation and this need to just, you know, um, not want it anymore. And not in a bad way. But I think I just felt so stuck on this hamster wheel of self-perfection but so unhealthy it's just so unhealthy and um just realizing that after i let those implants go i was really letting that mask go that uh, that image distortion start to go it just when it, it's just like something did leave me and it's like you know now i'm being faced at faced I'm face to face with who I really am and it's like you know I rejected myself for so long so you know people couldn't reject me and hurt me so I just rejected myself first and I put on this facade that I thought people wanted to see because if they liked me then 
you know, or I got some type of gratification from them or, you know, something that, you know, um, it would just fill that void for a little bit. And I, you know, I didn't realize it then, but I was just running so far from who I was and who God created me to be. And um, it's so easy. I'm learning to be somebody that you're not. It's easy. It's easy to change who you are, um, whether that's externally change something um, or it's just easy. It's easy to put on those masks, whatever mask that you put on. It's That is so easy, but it is so hard to be that person that you came out of your mother as and stick to her and everything that she likes and everything that she is capable of. That is it's just so hard because it's so unpopular. It's so not the way that our world works. And um, you, uh, I don't even know where I'm going with this now. I'm getting sidetracked, you guys. Um, it's just so hard to be yourself. But I think um, what I'm realizing lately, the more... I surrender and just give up those things the more peace that I have but it's just like I'm just so emotional lately you guys it's just a cleansing and I know it's like a cleansing that is happening that's what it feels like I'm crying and crying and it's tears that just don't stop coming and I know it's healing but it's more you know it, it's it's more than just external what's happening it's 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 so deep and it's so internal and it's right down to the heart and it's right down to the soul of who I am and my being and it's just she's coming up the real me is starting to show and um, I'm not sure yet what how I feel about that it's confusing and um, I think it's because I feel like, you know, um, I guess doubt a little bit. Um, I've been in the fitness industry. I'm a trainer. That's what I've done for so long. But it's like now I'm starting to question my purpose behind everything. Um, I never want to lead people or the women that follow me or the moms that follow me in uh, the wrong direction. I never want to be that person that you know, leads them to a life of obsessively exercising and dieting. I never want to be that person. And I feel like, um, you know, maybe I have been a little bit. To be honest, maybe I have because I was that way with myself. So what you are, you lead, you lead an example by. And so... Hey guys, I was starting to make my video... Um, but then I realized, you know, I, I've left out something vitally important, um, probably vitally important because it's something that I've been feeling that I totally didn't let you guys know. Um, and I think that it's important. Anyways, get to the point. Um, I think it's easy after implants for the first few weeks to feel great because you're in anticipation of feeling better. But I think that you are, um, you know, it, depression can creep on a little bit later on. Um, and, and I don't think that it's anything chemical. I think that that depression can come on because um, there was a root there that needed to be pulled out. And I think you, you can start to feel depressed because you're really being faced with, like I said in the video, of who you are. And, and it can bring up a lot of emotions. It can, it can be a lot of emotions to feel because, um, you know, you're letting go of this facade, this image. And, and sometimes, you know, it can make you feel a little depressed. And, and I think the thing to realize is that um, it's okay to feel that way, to reach out, um, but not to, to know that um, you feel that way because there's there's a root there that needs to be pulled out again. Just because you remove the implants and you may feel better, there's still a root there because it's why you got them in the first place.
There's a reason you got them in the first place and it was part of self-rejection. So now that you're getting rid of them and you feel better, there's still that lie there, that, that reason, whatever your reason is. Um, and I know, as you guys can see in my video, how emotional that I have been. And I really wanted to just be really vulnerable with you guys and to know that, yes, I have been feeling those emotions too. I've had days where I felt depressed and, and it's hard to explain because it just can come out of nowhere and it can kind of make you question your whole purpose. Um, as a woman, as whatever, it can attack you in every single area of your life. And I felt that, but I just really feel the need to tell you that um, there is a reason you're feeling that way. And so when you feel that way, really start to take a deep inward, do like a deep inward search. Start asking yourself questions. Why do you feel this way? What emotions are you feeling? Why? Which day? What time of the day? Um, and maybe do what I'm, what I'm doing, you guys, is, you know, turn off social media for a while. <laughs> Turn it off. You don't need it. You're. It's not good. The world's not going to end. Um, if you have businesses on it, you can set up. You know, automated um, things that that keep your social media going without you having to be there. Or if you have someone that can do it for you, because you know, just like it is to recover externally and take that downtime, your soul needs that because you've just made a decision that you probably felt really conflicted about. Um, it, it goes, I want you guys to know there is so much, it's so much deeper than physical. There is a spiritual, um, there's a spiritual attachment to why you got them. There was a separation, there was a rejection, and you're being faced with all of that now after they're gone. Yes, you feel better and you're anticipating that you're going to feel better and all your physical abilities are going to feel better, but then you are faced with the initial reason of why you got them in the first place in that rejection, that self-rejection. So whoever you need to reach out to, whether it's a counselor, whether it's a pastor, whether it's a friend or someone that's gone through it, that's you need to be prepared that you know you don't all only heal like externally, you need to heal a part of your soul too. And that's what I'm being faced at with, um, <laughs> at with. And so I just really wanted to share that right now, you guys, because I felt like it is vitally important, um, a part of it. It's a it's a huge part of it. So um, I'm going through it and, um, you're probably going to go through it too. So the more we can stick together and the more we can reach out to one another and know that it's a healing process. It really is a healing journey. It's more of a soul heal healing than an, uh, than a physical mending of the scars. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to pop in and share that. You know, um, I don't know why we try to mirror what other people are doing or we constantly compare and we know that it makes us feel unhappy and we know we know these things we do deep down inside we know that um and a part of us wishes that we could just be ourselves be be true to who we are and a lot of them a lot of us will say that but we truly are not being true to who we are because we lie to ourselves so we can't tell which lie is is true or which lie is an actual lie and where the truth is and so I'm going to shorten this up you guys have been talking for a long time this is just where I'm at right now um, I just kind of you know at a crossroads of really deciding this is me this is who I am, no makeup, I love who I am, or I'm learning to love who I am. I love how God made my body, and I love what it can do for me, but it goes deeper than that. And I just wanted to show you guys, I'm, I'm reading a book right now, it's called Purpose Driven Life by Rick Warren, and um, it's a 40-day journey of um, what, on earth, what on earth am I here for? And so I decided to, I said, okay, God, so I decided to, uh, okay, God, I'll read this book. It's been amazing, but I think that's why I'm just it, being faced with this. I cut out social media because I know right now it's just not healthy. I just really want to focus on, on hearing him and on really, you know, doing the work. And right now I want to do the work. I don't want to slip back into old habits and old ways of thinking because I literally, you guys, it is like a hamster wheel. I felt like I was here three years ago and started to make progress and then all of a sudden I got implants. And then I'm 
like did a, a circle again and so it's really important for me to keep my mind focused um especially you know really uh figure out this journey of self-love loving the skin you're in what what is that like because guys I'm not perfect at it. I I really sucked at it a lot, and I'm in an industry where um, it's portrayed as an external thing, and 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 the you know being who you truly are is one of the hardest things that you can be. But it's one of the things that will bring you the most peace and uh, will bless you the most. Um, so I'm just I'm really you know um, really on that journey of this is me and this is who I am and learning to love who I am. Um, and so I cut out social media so I could do this book, read books, really focus on what I like to do um, and really let God show me who he's created me to be because it says in here, you know, that, um, oh, I wish I would have highlighted it. Maybe it's here. Oh, the more it's C.S. Lewis observed. The more we let God take us over, the more truly ourselves we become. Because he made us. He invented all the different people that you and I were intended to be. It is when I turn to Christ, when I give up myself to his personality, that I first begin to have a real personality of my own. And to me that was just so powerful and and I think I really had to cut out all the distractions of social media. I am YouTubing you guys, um, but that's it. Um, so I just wanted to take you guys, you know, on my journey of this um, because I would love to help people, women, through this one day. But I, can, I have to go through it myself. So, um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now, you guys. I'm just, uh, it's been a journey. Oh, my goodness. It's been a whirlwind. I told my husband I feel like I've just been like things have happened so fast but it's really made me um face who I am who I really am and and be on a path of self-discovery self-love um really it's really you know made me um deepen my relationship with God and um so that he can show me who I really am. And that is more important to me now than anything. And and I that's the only important thing now. And um, that like my my example maybe leads to, you know, others um, to inspire other moms and other women to do the same thing to step away to go against the current to step away from what everybody else is doing and do you and do your own thing and be okay with being you because that's the only way you'll ever truly be happy and that's the only way you'll ever truly be on the right path your path that was meant for you and so yeah guys that's where I am I hope you <laughs> enjoyed this video if you have any questions just let me know if not I'll be trying to keep you guys updated on this, this, this journey, this definite journey. Bye guys.